down below yes bosses and also do not forget to turn on that notification button because every time you do every time you go upload a dope video like this you bosses will be first to know to know to know to know yeah okay bosses so today we're pretty much doing a q a get to know me i feel as though it's overdue it's been a long time coming this is my third year on youtube so i really just want to give you guys an insight on who i am what i do and why i do what i do all right let's get behind the hair behind the music behind the youtube channel and get to know me so Kumba, get to know her. Without further ado. We're pretty much doing a Q&A, get to know me Q&A. Um, yeah bosses, it's been long overdue and I feel like since this is my third year on YouTube, why not do a Q&A, you know what I mean? This video is just a sit down and talk through and yeah, it will be a little bit okay for you bosses to get to know me. I think this is pretty cool. Alright, so let's get right into it. So I'm pretty much going to be taking questions from WhatsApp. If you have family members or friends that... You know that's from Africa they most likely use whatsapp and also from snapchat I got some few questions on there that I screenshot it I wish I could put it up here like everybody else do put the question in the person to send it but that makes a longer video so I'm just gonna read out the question to you bosses and I'm just gonna let you know the answer to it so pretty much let's let's get into the Q&A let's get it let's get it let's get it alright so let me get into my phone first because I did screenshot some of the questions alright so <laughs> One question goes, what made me get into the makeup business? Why did I want to do makeup and, and all the hair stuff that I do on YouTube right now? Okay, let's be realistic. YouTube is pretty big, right? And the audience span is is like this. Let's put it that way. It's about a shot to none, okay? So being a YouTuber is extremely hard. So I just want to give big kudos to all the YouTubers out there. Yo, this is not easy. Me having to take my time to record this video for you bosses, it's not an easy task. So yeah, the reason why I got into makeup and stuff like that is pretty much because I'm a free-spirited person. If you know me, I'm very free-spirited and I believe in vibes, I believe in energy, and I believe in things that work for you according to you. You know what I mean? In the sense of what makes you happy, right? And why can't we all just do that? Why do we have to be extra? Why do we have to go get a college degree? If that's not really what we want. You know what I mean? That's what made me get into the, the makeup business. Is because I loved it. I was interested in it. I was like, oh my God. So I can literally transform my look and with makeup? I think that's pretty cool. I mean, that's th that's the reason why I got into makeup. If that really explained why I got into it, because I loved it, and I watched other girls do it, and I said, you know what? I think I could do this. So I went to school for it, of course, because I thought school was gonna show me. I'm really, I was like self thought on my own, right? And I was like, you know what? To get better accolades, you know, Americans believe when you go to school for it, more people, you get more bookings, you get. It was all a lie. It's all word of mouth. Whatever makeup you do, they send more people to you. Whatever business you do, they send more people to you. And that's how it works. All right, bosses? But that's how really I got into the makeup business. And I hope that answers your question, okay? Thank you so much for that question. It was very important to this segment. All right, the next question went, what is your favorite foundation and why? I mean, mm, if you ask me, I don't really believe in favorite foundation and I hope I don't quote unquote myself in the nearest future when I get really really big and I have to I bite my tongue saying what is my favorite foundation I think every foundation can become your favorite foundation wait a minute before you bosses go crazy it's because simply because I'm a black girl and black girl 
it's always hard to find a favorite foundation in the sense of my favorite foundation will be the consistency of a matte foundation matte mini because i'm oily therefore every foundation that touches my face has to be matte so if you say it in the kind of consistency of the product i would say matte makeup are my favorite matte it has to be matte but if you're sick if you're asking me due to the brand i would say i don't have a favorite makeup because in regards to this, I'm actually on like my hundredth makeup now that I'm using. And I'm currently using the CoverGirl True Blend Maddie Mad, okay, foundation. And I've been loving it so far. And it's, I've actually only been using this color, which is the D10. And it's been working really great for my face. My face is a little bit darker lately because I'm trying to find my, 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 my exact shade. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why I just switched to this foundation. And so far, I feel like it's working for my skin. It's producing what I wanted to produce. And I don't feel like I need to change my foundation. So pretty much, this is the foundation I'm using right now. So you can say that's my favorite, okay? If that answers your question. I want to say thank you so much for that question. It was definitely helpful to this segment. Moving on into the next question. Let's get it. So the next question is for one of my good friends. So she went ahead and asked me this question from WhatsApp. And the question read, read, do you have any fears when you first started YouTube? And if you did, how did you overcome them? Well, <laughs> to tell you the truth, bosses, I'm not going to lie. In a sense of fear, it, it's a long story in the process that it took to get me on YouTube. All right, bosses, if that makes sense. Tell you the truth, when I was in high school, all my teachers thought I should be on YouTube. Yeah. They thought I was pretty cool and they thought that my vibes was real and that I had something to give to the universe. But at the end of the day, sometimes you don't see that in yourself and you don't know what you have to give to the universe. So starting my YouTube channel, it was like a process. I had bought all my equipment and I told myself eventually I would start YouTube. I was in high school, my teachers, they told me that is this thing called YouTube you should definitely get into it I think you're gonna be perfect for it you have such great personality and all of that good stuff but I was like no I'm not ready for YouTube and I really wasn't ready until a couple of years ago I had like the most craziest thing happen to me you know what I mean in my life and I felt like I had lost everything let's put it that way and in order to cope with what was happening in my life I had to start a YouTube channel. Isn't that crazy? Like the most craziest thing made me start my YouTube channel. It may seem strange to say that in a sense. And then when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't have any fears nor did I have any disbelief that I couldn't do it. All I felt was I've already lost everything else. Starting a YouTube channel is just like me trying to get over what I've already lost and getting out of a depressed kind of mood so youtube was pretty much a way of escape for me so it was like coming into this world and creating something for others to see and make others happy as opposed to i was going through a depressed mood so i decided to start my youtube channel and when i started i didn't have any fears or feeling like i couldn't do it maybe a little bit of nerve got to me but fears, no. I already felt like everything in my life was pretty much not where I wanted it to be. Where I needed it to be was just out of the depressed mood I was feeling. So I started my YouTube channel, giving back to the universe. And then while giving back to the universe, I realized all my depression or any feeling that I was feeling was fading away. Because I actually felt like I was in my purpose and then I was doing something that made me truly happy. That's the reason why I started my YouTube channel. With no fears in the world, just believing in God and just going for it. And this is where I'm at now. Three years going, I'm on YouTube. This is my third year and I'm so grateful that I actually started. And to think, I actually started my YouTube channel because I was going through a crazy time in my life. Okay, I hope that answered your question. Thank you so much for that question. It was definitely valuable to this segment. Really appreciate it. All right, bosses, moving on to the next question. All right, we have a lot. I'm going to try to make this questions or shorten this, this Q&A because I don't really want it to be too long. So, yeah, if you bosses have any other more questions that you feel like you need to get answered, 
you definitely need to yeah comment down below next question is what are your dreams and inspiration hmm. well my dream is to be financially free 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 of debt free of anything that my mother needs that I can comply like anything that I can give my mom if she's in stress time of need and I can be able to do that that's my dream plan that's my goal plan to be able to be financially free and then to just be in my be in my element you know what I mean be in my element doing what I love and loving what I'm doing and that's really the goal here that's really my focus and God knows that's my heart desire like I just want to be okay to be where I'm at I don't want to be criticized for, for picking that dream because we can have multiple dreams but whatever the dream is it has to have more layers to a layers to a layers you understand me being on YouTube is a is escape it was something to escape from my life pretty much escape from what I was going through and now that I'm on YouTube there's more to this you know what I mean the goal just continues you know starting my business starting this YouTube then starting other stuff it just is levels to this you know what I mean that's my goal just to be financially free because all of this helps to tie in to me being financially free yeah bosses my inspiration my inspiration is pretty much my mom's like what else my inspiration is God my inspiration is just believing in God working towards my goal and my mom motivate me because every time I see her having to work so hard I know that I got to keep going and I got to keep working as hard as I can to reach my full potential because we all bosses have that full potential inside of us you know what I mean you just got to push yourself sometimes it can be really hard don't get me wrong even doing this video today was pretty hard for me to do because I had a long week my voice is a little bit hoarse. I don't know if you boys can hear that as well but I'm pretty much just trying my best to keep on flowing you know what I mean it's just life is like a roller coaster but you just got to keep on going keep on going okay bosses but yeah my mom and God are definitely my inspiration to life to living to everything that I do all right thank you so much for that question it was definitely valuable to this segment I really appreciate you guys for sending in this question and the next question goes where do you see yourself in the next five years like where do I see myself I, I think I already said that already like I pretty much want to see myself doing what I love and just reaching my full potential living in my purpose speaking out in the world sharing my gifts to the world showing them what i can do so if any girl a black girl that's in my position that's looking at this video right now thinking can i start a youtube channel you can start whatever you want baby you can do whatever you want you have the life you have the power so so long god give us life that's your power and that's your key to start whatever you want so you just gotta go for it you know what i mean i hope that helps whoever's out there that's thinking about what they want to do in the next five years thank you for that question that question was very valuable to this segment i really appreciate you sending in that question really it works i love that question are your parents your role models or some celebrity or sort Thank you for that question right so for instance i'll say my mom is my role model and god is definitely my role model you're thinking like how is god your role model like what did god god has done so much in my life god actually took me out of my depression state and brought me to a place where i can feel like i belong you know and a lot of people can't really say that and every time i think about that i really want to cry because if you only knew what i was going through to get on youtube and how god transformed everything that is now is just amazing god is definitely my role model my mom is my role model because she's a hard-working woman she brought all of us to the united states and she lived in a one-bedroom apartment and she even had multiple houses now and she had cars to say oh my god my mom is my role model she's a hard-working woman and she gets the job done so i want to be just like that i want to get the job done 
and also I have to say this you know my mom also and I'll have to say my aunt is also my role model so if my auntie Cynthia ever sees this video I want her to know she's definitely my role model growing up with her I had to live with her for a couple of years too as well because my mom was pretty much transitioning and she showed me what it felt like to be a woman if that if that makes sense she really did show me what it felt like to be a woman as in like women are supposed to take care of themselves a woman is supposed to carry herself in a sort of way you know she showed me what she could show me and then life took place and i had to learn for myself where i wanted to be in this life and where i needed to take myself so this these three people in this order okay god my moms and my aunt so these three people are my inspiration to living life and getting ahead in this world okay bosses thank you so much for that question it was definitely helpful to this segment i really appreciate y'all for sending in these questions they really mean a lot to me all right let's get into the next question where did you get your confidence from mm, good question huh i mean where did i get my confidence from I would say I got my confidence from my growing pains as in like whatever road that I took to get me to this point in life that's where my confidence came from it came from all the hardship that I had to endure and everything else and then I had to really go back to learning how to I pretty much at one point in my life lost my confidence almost like I think I was down to ground zero with my confidence level and then God just intrude and took me around and spit me out and said go and then my confidence came back and I just feel so blessed and I'm just so humble like mm, you know what I mean I'm just blessed like confidence is a thing of life your confidence comes from the life that you live the crazy things that happen in your life and how what did you take and what step you took to overcome them and I think that's what really shows true confidence if you haven't endured certain things in your life you will not be able to obtain such confidence in yourself in your mind and in your spirits everything in life leads to certain places in life if you have ever been in a place before where you feel like you were nothing and over time you regain your strength by being so humble and believing in God then you have earned that confidence that you have right now okay good questions you know what I mean uh, that was a good question so the question okay so let me redo this question so the person stated right if I could pick three people to go on an adventurous trip with me and who three people I will pick and what place would I pick to go with them and why all right that was such, this is such a good question so first thing first the person that I will pick three people I think I'll pick my best friend Sensia. Um, my sis are of course these are two people. I'll pick Debbie because she's so crazy and she's so out there and adventurous and I really love them. And I will pick my other friend Nama because she's so cool. Like she got real vibes, you feel me? And I feel like these three people, we can definitely have fun any day. Okay? We bring the fun. We are the fun team. All right. So definitely these three people. And where will we go? I don't want to say something crazy. I would say we'll go back to Africa. We'll go to Jamaica. We could go to we could go to Paris. It doesn't matter where in the world we are. We bring the party to us. We are so we are so cool. We're just the vibe. You know what I mean? That's why sometimes it's very hard for me to take trips. And I feel like it's so hard because if my friends are not with me, I feel like, uh, it's going to be so weird. But yeah, these are the three people that I'll pick. I'll pick my friend Cynthia, my other friend Debbie, and I'll pick my other friend Nama. And you can call her Love T if you watch this video. I'll definitely pick these three people. I think they're really go-getters. And then... To get the job done all right yeah thank you so much for that question it was definitely valuable to this segment really really appreciate it all right okay bosses so the next question read where did you get your name from and wh where did you get your name from how did you come up with it all right this is so weird <laughs> 
a lot of people ask me that questions and it's so weird because if you can if you see if you know where i'm from you get the idea i hope this makes sense i'm gonna try to explain it in the best way possible for you boss the reason why i came up with talks la boss to be exact is because my name is talks and in the liberian way of talking it's like talks is a boss pretty much it's la la in liberian way la boss like she's a boss la means the boss so i hope this makes sense so i was like you know what how do i incorporate the nigerian side plus my liberian side to get it to work so i was like what about talks la boss so if i'm saying talks you understand that i'm from nigeria i'm half nigerian la is like la boss it's like she's a boss that's the, the Liberian way of talking. So I hope that makes sense. And then I want to just slap on the MUA. Because I was like, I do makeup. Why not MUA? You know what I mean? So I went ahead and slapped that on. That's how I became Tox La Boss MUA. Alright, bosses? Thank you for that question. I really, really appreciate that. The next question is... Can you spend all your money on something stupid? Nowadays, I don't spend my money on stupid stuff. <laughs> it's like now. Nah. Everything that I do consists of my business plan and where I want to be in the next couple of years. So all my money goes into promotion for my YouTube channel, promotion for my Instagram, promotion for my hair and lashes business. Everything. My money is pretty much tied into these things. And I pretty much invest my money also into stock markets because it works for me. And I did my research. I think it's valuable for the nearest future. So that's where I spend my money. I try not to spend my money on something stupid. I do like to treat myself once in a while to go to the bar and get some drinks and just feel like, you know, I work hard and I deserve a glass of wine. I'm not really a heavy drinker, but I do love my wine and I try to drink it. I try to drink that often, if you know what I mean. All right, bosses, thank you for that question. That question was definitely valuable to this segment. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone asked this question. All the reviews that you do, do you sometimes lie if the product is not good? Bosses, give me a break. Truly, let's be real. This is YouTube, and sometimes people do lie. Women lie, men lie, whatever that case may be. But... To be truthful, I try not to really lie. And yes, we do get a contract stating that if we're going to say anything crazy, we should just put it into moderation. Have you ever heard the saying, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So pretty much, if I was going to say, oh, this hair was shedding, I should just say, you know what? The hair really is a good quality hair. I did notice a few strands, but that's about it. That's all I can really say. But so far, all the custom, all the um, the brands that I so far have dealt with, I have to say their hair are still here in my closet, and I wear it here and there, and I even end up selling it to some people, like some of my friends. So yeah, my friends they love the hair, and they still have it to this day. So I have to say the brands that I work with are pretty much a cray. They're amazing, amazing, amazing. So I can't complain, bosses. I cannot complain. I cannot come and complain. I cannot do it. So yeah, I do really try to lie, but I do try to let y'all know the facts. Okay, bosses? Thank you so much for that question. It was definitely valuable to this segment. I really do appreciate y'all, bosses. I hope this Q&A, Get to Know Me segment was pretty dope for you bosses i hope that this gave you a little bit of insight on who toksla boss is and who tokumbo is because that's who i am and that's what i'm always gonna be and i believe in love light family friends doing what you love and loving what you do that's really me like i believe in that and without that i feel like we can't really rise to our full potential you have to do go into the even if you're going to go to school my last message to anybody that's watching this video is if you're going to go to school go to school for something you actually love go to school don't do it for the money don't do it for the money because at the end of the day you're still going to die and whatever money you make you're going to leave it right here where it belongs at the end of the day go to school for something you love doing go to school for something where you wake up in the morning you're like oh back to work i go you know what i mean so do that with your life and I feel like your life will be amazing. 
Alright, boss, I want to say thank you, bosses, so much, so, so much for checking out my YouTube channel today. I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight on who I am and what I do and how I do it. Alright, bosses, thank you, bosses, so much. God bless. Bye-bye.